morning guys I hope everyone is having a great Sunday or had a great Sunday um, I am just getting ready to go pick up my mom because we are going to go do a small little trail in Vegas um, the mountains called Lone Mountain it has four different access points depending on how difficult you want the trail to be we plan to do just the easiest one because you know you gotta start somewhere right and it's been a while since I've been out there um, it's my dog. <laughs> Do you like to meet her? Hold on, I'll show you her. Hey, you need to on that. Come on. Um, the dog's name is Rogue, and that's kind of why I picked the trail name Rogue because, uh, you know, I'm not going to be able to take her with me, which is super depressing. So I'm just going to keep her memory alive on the trail. Um, just making breakfast right now. I'm having avocado and toast. Just burnt my toast. I have to make another batch. But um, after that, I'm going to go pick up my mom and we're gonna go do a little bit of hiking. It's only a few miles, um, but it'll give me a good idea of, you know, what it feels like again because it's been a while since I've been out there. I don't have any gear to show you guys because I haven't bought anything yet. Um, I've been doing <laughs> ridiculous amounts of research and I want to make sure I make the right choice and I know that you know there are going to be some things that need to be changed while I get on the trail but I want to do the best I can to make sure that um, I keep that down to a minimum and so basically today is just gonna be a way for me to just get a feel of what it's like to record while on a trail and how to edit those videos so this probably won't be the same format as future videos it's just a way for me to experiment and get creative so most likely today you're just gonna get a view of the trail and it's going to also be a voiceover of me explaining my top five reasons for wanting to hike the Appalachian Trail. Today I'm going to be discussing my top five reasons for hiking the Appalachian Trail. Reason number one, to put myself to the ultimate test. For me, this will possibly be the most challenging thing that I ever do in my life. Um, I love a challenge. I love to push myself to the limit. I like to know my limits and I like to push past them. Reason number two, to prove myself wrong. What I mean by this is, for the past year, I've been doing nothing but feeling sorry for myself. I've been dealing with back problems for probably the past 10 years, and it's been progressively getting worse. It wasn't up until the last year that all of a sudden I wasn't able to sleep anymore because I was in so much pain. I finally got to the point where I decided enough was enough and I went to a doctor's and got x-rays. The results came back and explained that I have degenerative disc disease and osteoarthritis of the spine. Um, I think it's four of the discs that are showing signs of degenerative disc disease as well as the sciatica nerve that I'm having issues with. Um, when I received those results, I really became depressed. So I kind of just gave up on myself. I decided, well, I guess there's nothing you can do now. Why even try? Why bother trying to stay fit when every time you go to the gym, you hurt your back? Or why bother eating healthy when you can't lose weight because it's so hard to exercise? I knew that there were other ways. I mean, I knew deep down that there were ways that I could help myself and heal my back, but I was too busy feeling sorry for myself to actually do that. Discovering the Appalachian Trail was actually quite a bit of awakening for me. It caused me to want to live again. It made me want to not continue living my life in pain. It wanted me to, to discover that I'm still capable of doing things that I, for the past year, that I, I was never going to be able to do again. Um, this is basically just a way to prove myself wrong. I will discuss in later videos how I exactly, I, I mean, I know it's not something that I can just cure overnight, but I will be discussing in later videos how I plan to work through my back problems. Reason number three, to see the East Coast. Um, the East Coast is my favorite part of the country. I'm from Las Vegas and uh, you know I'm not very fond of it here. I don't intend on staying here for the rest of my life and every time I go to visit the East Coast I am just in love. When it comes time to leave I'm truly not happy because I love it there so much. I feel like I leave a part of my heart there every time I have to leave. Reason number four, 
My past 30 years have been very emotional and I feel like I'm still struggling with a lot of my past experiences. I'm having a hard time moving forward. And from what I've heard from previous through hikers is that um, the trail gives them the chance to really think. And you really don't have anything else to do with your time other than to think. A lot of people, what they do is they hike the trail to leave those past negative experiences behind. And that's really something that I'm going to aim to do while I'm hiking the trail is just processing everything that I've experienced in my life, everything that I'm still holding on to, and finding a way to let it go so I can move forward. I think that I will be leaving the trail not only with, you know, physical weight loss, but with um, emotional weight loss as well. Reason number five. I like to add that these aren't in any particular order because I feel like I love all of these things equally. Um, but my reason number five, final reason, is just to be in nature for six months. I mean, mountains, trees, dirt, um, wildlife, rain, thunderstorms, anything you can possibly think of that comes with being in nature, I love. And when I was a child, one of my favorite things to do was to go to Zion National Park and go on little hikes. And um, I grew up with my parents owning a cabin, so I was always able to um, escape there for the summer and just really feel free for, you know, it may have only been a weekend, but <laughs> it was the best weekends of my life and I, it's something I will always cherish. This is going to give me the chance to experience that same feeling for six months. And there's just something about being away from the city life that's freeing and I look forward to that. So I hope you guys enjoyed my top five reasons. If you'd like to continue watching my videos please subscribe below and also I would love if you guys could share your number one reason for hiking the trail and see if there's any similarities amongst us. Stay tuned for the next video where I will be discussing my weight loss journey. <laughs> all right so we just finished our hike um we didn't make it all the way to the top it was a little more difficult than we thought we didn't have the right shoes um but we did hike about 2.1 miles today and i'm already exhausted so um that's it for the day not. but my mother hung in there pretty well <laughs> she's also carrying like half the weight i am so uh we're about to go to rei right now to buy some hiking shoes yep that's it